but here everyone's very family oriented and the crazy part is like they take you and bring you into their family, which I think is amazing because like someone that's a foreigner. What is something you didn't enjoy about the Philippines? Everything that I got to experience here, I feel like was life changing. We need more people like you in this country Thanks and so around the world. And I love what you're doing for this place, uh, documenting all the foreigners here. What's your name and where you're from? My name's Prince and I'm from Canada. We did an interview last year mm -hmm. and then you came back and you have been here for like for seven months now? Yes, correct. I've been here for seven months. Why did you decide to come back? Honestly, when I first came to you, uh, when we did the first interview, I haven't really explored the Philippines that much. But now I got to explore so many different parts of the Philippines, mm -hmm. like Boracay, Siargao, uh, Palawan, uh, here in Manila, Zimbabwe, so many places around, even Batanes, which is close to Taiwan, which I know a lot of people don't know about. And honestly, it's amazing. The country, the people, the views, the scenery, Everything that I got to experience here, I feel like was life changing. I even got to meet a whole bunch of cool people, uh, make a lot of connections. I learned so much being here through friends. And yeah, honestly, I feel like I can call this my second home. After being seven months here, yeah. Why did you decide to stay seven months here in the Philippines? Knowing that when we did an interview last year, you were traveling around Asia why you decided to stay here for seven months honestly i feel like the network and the community here i met a whole bunch of cool amazing people here and i got into free diving okay. and philippines has one of the best free divings i've seen so far um i also got to do and apply for a guinness world record being here mm -hmm. so i'm gonna do that and yeah like seven months just flew by so fast i never expected to stay somewhere for seven months mm -hmm. uh so far last interview i was at around like 32 countries mm -hmm. i'm at 36 now and i've been stuck at 36 and <laughs> it's because i've been here for so long and yeah. each of those countries i've been there for about one month each time and now it's been seven months in one place. So I kind of got derailed, but honestly, I wouldn't change it for the world. The amazing people, the amazing community, the amazing food. I even put on a little bit of weight, you know, <laughs> but it's crazy, man. I mean, Great. Filipino food. Oh my gosh, the sweet spaghetti, you mm -hmm. know, kare kare, bulalo. So good, man. Okay. How different is Philippines compared to other countries that you have been to, knowing like you have mentioned other places or in a, I mean in other countries you stayed only for like a month okay. and now in the Philippines you come for the second time and now you, you decide to stay here for seven months how different is the Philippines honestly um, it's the community and everyone's so open and honest welcoming I feel like it's very safe here I feel like things are cheaper here than versus like North America and different countries around the world mm -hmm. I feel like Everyone here just wants everyone to grow and everyone here wants to uplift you. Everyone here wants you to be your authentic self. And I think that's very important because um, people around the world that you meet, they may not have your best interest, but here everyone is on the same mission. So you can surround yourself with like minded individuals. And honestly, like the people here, they make it pretty easy to stay here because they're so warm and welcoming, very lovely people, like I said before. And honestly, I feel like Philippines is like my second home. Like, I feel like there's nowhere better. If I'm being completely honest, I feel like this might be ranked number one, number two for me. I think it's tied with Indonesia for me because I got to explore Raja Ampa, which is beautiful beaches and islands. But Philippines has a lot of beautiful beaches and islands as well. So I feel like this place has changed me completely, like getting into modeling, which is like a side mission, Guinness World Record, like meeting amazing people here that are like-minded and want to grow and be their true authentic selves. It's amazing, man. What about when it comes to the cost of living? You have mentioned that Philippines is cheap. You stay in Airbnb, hotel, and how, I mean, if you, I don't know if you can tell us how much you pay in a month here in the Philippines. Okay, so I might not be the best representation because I have, been staying in a hotel, kind of like a London Tipton vibe, but um, each day I'm paying like around 1,000, 1,800 to 2,000 pesos a day. So monthly, you're definitely paying a little bit over 50K, but I know for sure, like you can get a place here for 19,000 pesos, like 20,000 pesos. You can get a decent place that's furnished and everything. 
but also um, I'm a Libra, I'm very spontaneous, so I like to bounce in and out. So I felt like hotels was the best form of doing that for me versus like getting like a long-term lease, something like that. And also I never planned to stay here that long, but I ended up staying seven months. So I feel like I've been staying at hotels, well, like one hotel in particular, and I'm paying like roughly 1,800, 2,000 pesos a night. But definitely don't do that. Like you can get a furnished place for like, let's say 16,000 pesos, 19,000 pesos in a good area. So yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing with us. You have mentioned about some islands that you have that you have gone, I mean, to so far in these seven months, what is, I mean, where is the best island from your own opinion? Oh, the best island? That's pretty hard. I think I really like Palawan, Coron. Mm -hmm. I really like Balabac, Palawan. I really like Sikihor. I really like Puerto Galera. I think those islands are really unique and very different from each other, less touristy. Mm -hmm. um, I know like Boracay is very beautiful as well. Um, there's a amazing beach there and there's amazing cafes like smooth cafe where you can like watch the view and See the boats and ships and everything like that. But for me, I think my favorite island I've been to here I would say is Sikihor because There's like a myth there that there's a lot of like witches things like that, but it's not true I think like that island has a lot of like personality and like the people there are so friendly so much fiestas every weekend the people are so down to earth good beaches there good food good weather so i think that's my favorite island so far you gave advice when it comes on getting a place on how i mean the people that are watching us they could get a cheaper place mm -hmm. and what about how safe is the philippines for you you coming from canada how safe is the philippines I think the Philippines is very safe. Like I know in North America, if you're from US or Canada, you might have to look over your shoulder or be careful where you're going, stuff like that. Also, there's a big fashion sense over there. Like you always want to look your best, things like that. Here, that's not the case. You can pull up in like sweatshirt. Like look at me, like I'm just wearing normal basic clothes. Like Actually, no one really cares. Sorry, I saw that you have these here guys, you know? I don't know. I mean, I'm going to zoom that, but it's so beautiful. This is like, where did you get this, by the way? So this I got from Puerto Galera and this from Sikihor. So yeah, like little pieces like this cost like what, 50 pesos each. So I think Philippines, it's very affordable. People are so loving, caring. And I think that, um, yeah, everyone should come to the Philippines, you know, and explore this beautiful country. Do you think Philippines have changed your life perspective? For sure, it's changed my life. Ex uh, for sure, it's changed my life experiences and perspective because I've met a whole bunch of amazing people here, and each person adds value to your life that I've been here seeing. And um, Philippines has just changed me for the better because I feel like I'm more extroverted now. I'm able to talk to people. Uh, I was solo traveling, but anybody that solo travels knows that like you kind of have to force yourself to talk to people because you're by yourself. But here, you don't even need to force yourself. Like you can literally meet someone on the street. They're gonna want to talk to you. Like they're gonna smile at you, love you. Like they're very open and honest. So I think not only has it changed me, um, making me more extroverted, but it's changed me in the way I think about things. It's changed me in the way I see life because Filipinos are very generous and caring. And North America and stuff like that, uh, it's very easy to like lose that. And I feel like they're very cultured here. And I feel like North America, there's not a lot of culture here. And it's not a lot about, not a lot of people think about family, but here everyone's very family oriented. And the crazy part is like, they take you and bring you into their family, which I think is amazing because like someone that's a foreigner, I don't speak the language that well, like I'm still learning, but I could literally speak English with them and they'll bring me, care for me, give me food, like just a random stranger, who am I, you know? So I think that's what's really cool about the Philippines. Beautiful. And I'm really proud that you decided to come back because we did an interview last year and now knowing that you're here now, having all these experience in the country and you sharing with us as well. So we have talked about everything that you have enjoyed in the Philippines. What is something you didn't enjoy about the Philippines? I think the traffic. The traffic here, especially when you're in the city, um, is insane. Like, you can't even take a grab. Like, you're better off taking an Ancas or Move It or Joyride to get around. But 
that's if you're in the city. Um, something I don't like as well is the sweet spaghetti joke lang. It's really good, but uh, I feel like eating too much, you might put on some weight or like you might get a cavity. But honestly, like there's nothing I don't really dislike about the Philippines. Like I feel like I like it more than there's more likes and pros mm -hmm. than cons here. Mm -hmm. And that speaks for itself because I've been here seven months. So that just proves that I really love the country and the people and what they stand for, community, and yeah. What, what message do you have to the Filipinos watching us? Salamat po, salamat kuya. Ate. Oh wait, by the way, how's your Tagalog? <laughs> okay, my Tagalog is really bad. Really, 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 really bad. But uh, I'll try. Okay. Say something like, say something, okay, seven months now, at least say something in Tagalog. In Tagalog? Yeah. It, it, it can be a word. The a word? Yeah. Masarap. Masarap, one. Okay, uh, okay lang. Okay lang. Uh, salamat. Salamat. Uh, kuya ate. Kuya ate. Too big po. Too big po. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> diba? Diba? <laughs> what else? Um, <laughs> oh, this is hard. From the top of my head, this is hard. Um, you know, see, I stayed in Visayas more than... Um, so, okay kayo, like, you know, okay, yeah. um, uh, this is hard. I feel like that's all I can think of right now oh, at the top of my head. Yeah. So, yeah. so what message do you have to the, I mean, to the people watching us right now? Honestly, come to Philippines. It's an amazing country. Um, you'll learn more about yourself. If you're into like energies and you're, you're sacred with like your energy and people here are amazing, they're loving, caring, they're here to help you. So I think, yeah, come to Philippines, come and explore, see for yourself what we're talking about and what we're saying. And you'll see that this is a beautiful country and a beautiful place where people get along and people are on the same vision and are like-minded as well. Okay, brother. Thank you so much. I really appreciate for your time. Thank you. Brother. And I hope you're gonna extend more and more and hopefully you. you decide to live in the country. Of course. Okay, brother, thank you so much and uh, have a good time in the Philippines. Too, Guys, too. all his info is going to be on the description below. I, let's go. If you guys okay. are in the Philippines, come check out my boy Calvin Castillo. Okay. One of the best YouTubers there is in the Philippines. <laughs> you know, not, not, only, yet. not only have we met seven months ago, but he's literally an amazing friend yeah. and amazing person yeah. and we need more people like you in this country Thanks and so much, around the world and i love what you're doing for this place uh documenting all the foreigners here that are have experiences to share things like that it's very unique Thank from what i've seen here it, yeah. and i hope god blesses you and i hope that um you continue providing us with the amazing value that you've been providing us with and honestly like you're such a good friend. I'm gonna to get me. emotional. <laughs> you're such a Thank great you, friend brother. to me, Thank so I appreciate you. everything you're doing for this country and for the people watching. Because if it wasn't for you, I would have never been able to know more about the Philippines and the places to see, explore, visit. It's all from your channel. So thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure, and keep continuing what you're doing. Okay, bro. Thank you so much. I appreciate okay. it, bro. Thank you, brother. Of course. Guys, thank you so much for watching till the end. And, brother, thank you so much for the beautiful message. No Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. And share the video with your friends. I hope we are on a frame because there's nobody behind. We're just the two of us. Okay, guys. See you guys. We're gone.